Alamance County for Freedom is a new nonprofit opening up in Burlington to address the issue of dating violence. But more specifically for human trafficking, the nonprofit says human trafficking in North Carolina ranks eighth in the country. The person we're about to introduce you to is a victim of sexual exploitation and says it can happen to anybody. I hated being Indian. I hated myself. I wanted to be white. I thought if I was white, then I would be valuable. Anna Malika says yeah, when she was 17 years old, she felt invaluable and unimportant. That's when she met a 40 year old man who told her, I love you. You know, you're valuable. You're so beautiful. I want to spend more time with you. And these were the words that started it all. All these things that I had been wanting to hear my whole life, I was finally hearing from him. After moving in with him, he asked her to help him with an art project. I started doing the pictures on a Polaroid camera. They were very innocent at first, and they became more and more sexual. I was just forced to do, you use your imagination, I was forced to do. She says she was drugged several times and forced to have sex with him. And he cataloged it on the calendar, and I'd look at it, and it got to a couple hundreds, and I was like, what's on the calendar? He's like, oh, it's just how many times we make love, but really I found out later it's how many times I was raped. A year later, Malika moved out. But after learning about his death, she faced a harsh reality. The first thing I thought in my head was, I need to get those pictures back. Nothing could have prepared her for what she found out. I found out he mass produced everything. I didn't have a clue. There was four by sixes, eight by tens, black and whites, you name it, thousands of them. Malika was sexually exploited, making her a victim of human trafficking. Like many other victims, she sought help through an organization called Mercy Ministries. And now she's a public speaker on human trafficking and works with policymakers to better address the issue in the state. My life is wonderful now. I mean, it's not perfect, but I, um, I can feel emotion. I can feel joy. I understand that I'm beautiful. I understand that I'm valuable. And I didn't get that before. Raising awareness of human trafficking is also a mission for the Periclean scholars here at Elon. The class of 2015 is working to address the issue both here in North Carolina and in Haiti.